Are electrons really in circular motion? No, I'm afraid not. If it would continue to move in circular motion, it would have different energy levels. Then how do you think they are moving? Let us explore a small area of quantum mechanics which can help us to understand about the movement of electrons. For this, let's have a look at the ideas of standing waves. Waves in the ocean can travel a great distance just like sound waves do. But some are confined to a specific region like if you shake a taut rope with one end fixed in space. Waves will travel down this rope and then back again, reflected at the boundary. Some waves are confined between two fixed boundaries like on a plucked string where they will experience repeated reflections at both ends of the string resulting in a multitude of wave cycles. These are called standing waves. These kind of waves can only have particular frequencies for strings of a given length because they can only have integer numbers of half wavelength. This means that the number of half wavelengths in any standing wave must be quantized, meaning it can only exhibit certain discrete values such as a set of integers rather than any value of a continuous spectrum. Now if you are confused with the idea of quantize, let me give you a simple example of a frog which tries to climb a staircase. To reach to the next level, example from ground to first step, it needs 10 joules of energy as from first to second it needs also 10 joules of energy and so on. But if it does not have enough energy, it stays on the same level, trapped, and it has fixed energy. Okay, now let's bring the ideas together. Standing waves can vibrate only at particular wavelengths, means their modes of vibrations are quantized. And as per theories, electrons can only exist in certain energy states, means the energy states are quantized. That shows electrons move as standing waves.